Okay, so in this chapter, we're going to be building a pure CSS image slider. All right, so we'll have a bunch of thumbnails, and we can click on a thumbnail, and we'll have a big image slide into place. And this isn't going to use any JavaScript or anything like that. It's going to be pure CSS. And the way we're going to do this is by using CSS keyframes. All right, so keyframes are fairly new um, to CSS3 and not supported in all browsers. Um, I don't believe that Internet Explorer supports keyframes, uh, but don't quote me on that. I'm not positive. Um, so we definitely want to use our vendor specific prefixes. Okay, we want to use the WebKit and the Moz uh, prefixes. But basically, um, keyframes allow you to to create animation on a page by basically gradually changing uh, from one set of CSS styles to another. All right, so that could be the color, uh, the position, which is what we're going to be doing, uh, things like that, the size, okay, and you can s specify different points uh, from 0% to 100%, basically uh, what you want to happen when. And if you had any experience with CSS transitions, uh, transitions are basically from one point to another, and that's it. Keyframes, you can do things in between the start and the end. All right, so we're going to do something really simple here um, before we move on. Before we go to our project, uh, I just want to create an element. Basically, we'll just create a, a, a square and have it animate using keyframes. Okay, so I created this file keyframes.html. So let's go ahead and just add some basic structure. Okay, we want our doc type HTML5. Okay, we got our head, and I'm just going to use, um, we're going to put our style right in the head. All right, and then for the body, for the body, all we're going to do is create a div, and I'm going to give it a class of object. Okay, and then in the style, uh, we'll say oops, object. Okay, we'll give it a width of 150 pixels and a height of 150 pixels, and we want to position relative, and let's just give it a background of black all right so there is our object now what we want to do is inside of this class we're going to use animation all right and we're going to basically add three things here three parameters one is going to be the name of the animation so let's just call it um, object move. The next is going to be the duration. I'm going to say five seconds. And then uh, the amount of time that we want it to run, which I'm going to say um, infinite. Okay, so we just want it to keep running. Um, now, this by itself won't work in many browsers. Um, so we're just going to, we're using Chrome. So we want to make sure that we use the WebKit prefix. All right, so WebKit dash animation. All right, we're just going to put this same thing. All right, so that's all we need to do inside of this class. Okay, so now is we need to set up our keyframes. All right, so to create a keyframe, we want to use the at symbol. And we're going to use WebKit keyframes, and then we want the name of the animation, which is going to be Object Move. All right, and then we're going to open some curly brackets, and we're going to define certain points of of our animation. 
all right and the, the animation is going to run for five seconds so it's going to be a percentage of that so the first one is going to be zero percent basically uh, where we want to start all right so we want it to start at the top basically zero pixels from the top okay the next one we'll define will be 25 percent and again from the top we'll go down 300 pixels Actually, we should have semicolons here okay next we'll do 75 percent and by the way you don't have you can use any percentages that you want and let's see we'll say top and we'll go back to 100 pixels and then 100 percent we'll go to let's say 50 pixels all right let's just make this a little neater All right, now I'm also going to use the standard syntax without the WebKit. So basically, I'm just going to get rid of this. All right, so that should do it. Let's save it, reload. All right, so you can see the points. It starts at zero pixels, goes all the way down to. Well, to 300 pixels from the top, um, goes back up to 100 pixels, and then goes to 50 pixels, and then it's over. Um, let's actually change this to zero so it stops where it started. Okay, so then it stops and it just keeps going. All right, so what I want to do now is I want it to go over to the right I want it to make a square so right down left and back up alright so what we need to do here is we're gonna need to use two coordinates okay at 0% we want to be top left okay we want 0 for both of them and we're gonna add one more point in here we want 50% Okay, so 50. Okay, so it's going to start here, which is 0, 0. Then it's going to move uh, from the left 300 pixels. All right, so top, we're going to keep it at 0 for that, for at 25%. And then from the left, we want to go 300 pixels. And this can be a little confusing because you use left 300 pixels, but you're actually going right. All right, it's 300 because it's from the left, which is can be a little confusing. Um, and then at 50%, we want to be here, which is going to be top 300, left 300. Okay, so 50%, top 300, left 300. 75%, we want it to be here, which is going to be top 300, left 0. So 75, we want top 300, left 0. And then 100%, we should be at top 0, left 0. Okay, and I'm just going to copy this and put it down here as well. Okay, let's try that. All right. Now you can also change, you can add other styles as well in your transitions, or, or your, I'm sorry, your keyframes. So let's say we want to change the color. Okay, so we'll start with black. All right, and then let's say we, we want to, let's go ahead and change to red. And then we'll change to blue. Green. And then back to black. All right, so let's give that a shot. OK, 
Okay, change. So you can add any any CSS properties you want, you can add to your animation. All right, and you can change the speed and things like that. Let's change this to one second. Okay, so you can change it. We could do 20 seconds. Okay, it goes extra slow. So this is what is going to make it possible for us to build our image slider um, for this for this chapter's project. Basically, we'll be doing kind of the same thing. We'll change. We'll be changing positions. And we'll also be looking at and changing Z index, which has to do with uh, what elements will stack on top of, of other ones. Because when we change the image, we want it to slide over the previous image. Okay, so we'll get into that next.